All right, people. Here I am. Time to switch grade. Getting ready to leave. Definitely having some crazy times and uh, anxiety. Um, but maybe I can leave you with something important to think about. <laughs> or maybe not. Um, one thing, as I said to Mr. F, you know what I'm really, I am really happy that like, I'm an independent person and I'm raising my kids with the model that you can do things and do them on your own. You know what I mean? That's important. <laughs> and even though it's stressful and I have so much stuff I have to take care of and get ready to go, I mean, let's be real, when I go into the Mr. F, I have just as much stuff to do. Um, but, um, you know, I don't know. I think that's kind of somewhat important. Um, so there's that. I am looking forward to the trip. It's just, and once we're in the car and on our way, then it's fun adventure time. It's just that last week was a nightmare. Baby got on a crazy sleep schedule where she was like taking these weird like evening naps and staying up until 1 in the morning and then sleeping until 1 p.m. and starting the whole cycle over again day after day and I like couldn't break her of it. And, um, I mean, it really just sucked life on me. Finally, finally, she snapped back into her normal routine. Sometimes that happens with her. I don't really know what makes it happen, but every once in a while, we have to go through that. So, bada bing, bada boom. Number two, number three, number four, wherever I'm at. Lemon bars, people. There's no reason to make your own. Krusty's mix is like the bomb. Um, make them right now. All right, so once I get on the journey, it'll be the journey, and we'll move forward. The thing that's like, to get to where I'm going, it's taking me like a week to get there, because we're going to stop in a couple different places, uh, just to break it up. And unfortunately, I do have a little bit of anxiety about that, just because baby can be unpredictable, and I think it'll be better for me once I get up north and we're there, and relaxing. I will say, I am having more feelings about leaving the stress than I normally do. Um, and I'm more sad about it when usually I'm really not. I don't know. <laughs> but we've been getting along better than probably ever in our marriage the last year. Until last night when he pissed me off. But, um, you know, just putting that out there. And you know what it has to do with, and I think this is a huge thing, and so it's something I do want to talk about for people to think about for their own lives. The whole deal is that he likes his job. It's not that we were unhappily married before, although we were at some points, for sure. Um, or I was. <laughs> and I think that's the normal and the normal course of, you know, a marriage. I mean, we've been together for 10 years. Um, and different life events, and we certainly have had our share of crazy, intense life events in the last several years. Um, but, in a way, I, yeah, I mean, my point is this. We are more happily married than ever before, despite the fact that we're under immense financial stress, and we moved to a place where we don't know anybody, and so that just goes to show the power of being happy with what you do every day. You know, and what a difference it is. Like he really is, um, he really is uh, fulfilled with his job, and I've never known him to be. Um, and when that's what you do all day long, every day, you know, it really matters. So if you're, um, if you're not, maybe, or your spouse isn't, it's something to really consider. I mean, I really believe that it, it really could uh, change your life. And the other thing is, like, I'm also fulfilled in what I do in my day. You know, like, we're both, I, I'm really happy. Um, my life is exactly what I want it to be, minus some, you know, financial stress. But even that doesn't really bother me. That's not as big of a deal as not liking what you do every day, you know. So, word, word to job satisfaction. Um, other things I have to, to report. Uh, other thing that I thought was interesting the other day I said to Mr. F and so i it, is we were, it was Father's Day I guess, and then I'm like, you know, I really want to get home because I want to work out. And then it just struck me what a change for my whole life that is. That until, 
I don't know, it's been about two years. Until two years ago, I did not ever like to work out. I would have never in my life said, I need to get home, I want to work out. You know? And it's not just that I want to work out because I want to, you know, meet my goal to work out. I mean, like, I actually want to work out. Like, it actually has had an effect on me, and I, you know, it makes me feel better to do it. And I have the desire in the day to do it. And especially on days when, like, shit is hitting the fan by the end of the day, or, you know, if, if the kids or Mr. F are pissing me off, I mean, I know. I mean, I know now, like, I need to go work out. It will change my whole perspective. So, for everyone out there who hates working out, doesn't want to do it, can't imagine ever wanting to do that, I have to say, I, like, I really never thought I would ever want to work out. I mean, I really never wanted to before. And I had different times where I did, you know, work out. You know, it's not like I went from never working out to this. But um, it's just a whole different outlook and life change. And um, so that's my other thing, is that, like, that part of your life, I mean, really can change and can make a difference. And I guess that, combined with the job thing, I guess my message is, uh, your life can improve. <laughs> it really can. So, um, even if, like, your big picture doesn't seem to be that much different, you know what I mean? Like, you know, we're not making more money. In fact, we're making significantly <laughs> less. Um, you know, we still have two kids, and we still have pretty much, if you looked on paper, the same kind of life and the same kind of jobs, you know, but, like, the, re but, like, the reality of our every day is vastly different. So, just by making those small things different. So, that's my big, big thought for today. Um, what am I at now? Alright. Yeah, probably I should stop there. But, um, what else can I tell you? Oh, my other thing is, the people, the woman whose baby I'm going to be watching, she's, she's married, um, is coming over for us to meet the baby today, and I have to say, I had a whole red flag moment and feeling like, uh-oh, this is no good, because we've been, like, touching base with each other about having a meetup, and she kept kind of flaking on me, and then saying, like, I'll definitely call and confirm, and then not calling and confirm, and I was left today kind of left hanging, thinking, like, are you coming or not, and my thought with that is, uh-oh, I mean, like, this is someone who I'm going to have to rely on her to be timely, I'm not getting paid by the hour, I'm getting paid, unfortunately, you know, by the week, and it did give me the, the pause of, like, is this really a situation I want to get into? I mean, obviously I'm going to do it anyway, but I definitely am having some nervous feelings that I might have, that I'm getting involved with someone who might be someone who's maybe like Mr. F, a little time management um, deficit going on, a little absent-minded professor style. And while those people are can be well-meaning, if you're, if you're not getting paid by the hour, you don't want to work for those people. So, um, more on that. We'll see how it goes. All right.